everybody, Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media, and today, guys, I'm going to be bringing you something very, very special. I know it's been quite a while since I've uh, checked in with you guys, um, and that's been for several reasons. There's been just a, a lot of stuff going on for me, uh, good and bad, I guess, but mostly good. Uh, as you can see here in the background, this is uh, from you guys have seen for probably previous videos, not where I used to live. And that is because I have moved. Um, I'm still in the same general area, but the last house that uh, we were in, just uh, for the garage, it was an okay garage, but it just really didn't have all the things that I wanted. And uh, I did the research to try to turn that garage into something more where I could put a lift and stuff. And it was just gonna be a lot of work and a lot more money to modify an existing structure than what I really was ready to spend. And so we decided just to start looking around and see if we could find something else. Um, so that started the long search of house selling and house buying and moving into an apartment short term while we were looking for a house. Well, several months later, down the road now, this whole started back in November of last year. Here we are now in June and the other house is sold and we are now in the new house. This is it. This is the house itself. But the most important part is, bam, this. So this is my new, new to me anyway, three car, 36 by 28, 36 by 30, really, but 28 usable on the inside garage. And as you can see there on the side, it does have uh, heating and cooling. And so now we're going to go ahead and take a stroll into the garage. And here we are. And da 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 da. There we go. That's what we've been missing. This garage does have a two post. 9,000 pound asymmetric magnum lift in it. So this is going to be the future wrenching home of Boost Junkie Media. Uh, this is where all of the magic will happen. And as you can see here, that's my truck. So it sits in the middle bay for right now anyway. And I've got a lot of work to do in here, guys. We just moved in a couple weeks ago, so I'm still putting stuff away. Um, and there is the Crown Jewel, Mystique, the 2020 Mustang GT. Uh, a lot more to come with that car, obviously. And so this is just kind of the basic garage, lots of storage. Does have three openers. A uh, nice little workbench area up here, which like I said, lots of, lots of cleaning to do, lots of uh, organizing, putting things away. Um, the previous owner left a lot of stuff around behind so I've been dealing with some of that, but um, yeah, very excited guys for this new setup. Um, the garage also does have a compressor. Uh, the compressor is actually behind the garage. There is a shed that's back behind the garage where the lawnmower and stuff is kept. And that is actually where a nice big 220 volts um, high capacity, high flow compressor is kept. And so if I come over here to this panel, over here on the wall, this guy right here, if I flip this on, the compressor kicks on and you can see everything is hard lined. So these copper lines here are all for the compressor. They go up to that reel up there. And so I've got this reel, I've got a drop down hose here. Also got a hard line right here that I can plug into. Um, and then there's also drains on all the lines. And then up there is, uh, there's a um, regulator and a dryer and all that kind of stuff to keep moisture out of the lines. So, and as I said, the garage is heated and cooled. I can keep it, you know, uh, not gonna keep it super cold in the summer and super warm in the, in the winter, but I figure if I can keep it between 75 and 80 in the summer and, you know, between 55 and 60 or whatever in the winter, 
uh, that sure helps to just knock down you know those extreme uh, heat and, and cold temperatures when you're trying to work on a car it's just not fun to work in in those situations um, whether it's hot or cold so that's kind of the plan and we've actually got a project for the truck coming up uh, a little bit later this morning actually we're gonna start working on um, for those of you who don't know I don't know if I've ever actually gone over the truck but this is a 2019 F-150, it's actually an XL truck that I decided that I was just going to get the, kind of the, the base model without extra things to break and kind of just turn it into a um, slightly lifted, you know, fun truck that's going to look good, sound good, drives good, uh, but not super crazy expensive and basically not all the electronics and things in it to break. I'm actually very happy with kind of the base model stuff. Um, I mean, it does still have Bluetooth and, and all that stuff, so it's really not base model. I mean, but it, XL is kind of the, the work truck line for Ford, so. But uh, these wheels are fuel covert wheels, and it does have a 4-inch ready lift lift on it. Um, so now we've just got some more things planned uh, starting this morning, actually. So yeah guys, so with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this video and there will be more to come obviously in the future. Lots of projects on the car, more projects on the truck, uh, lots of projects in the garage. If there's anything you know in the garage that I do big, I will try to go over that kind of stuff too. Uh, but yeah, with that being said guys, I uh, hope you have a great day and we'll see you later. Thanks.